Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and if you're new welcome to the channel and welcome to my Nostalgia November series that I have. What do I mean by Nostalgia November? Well, I asked a while ago if people would be interested in watching me play the seasonal games for the first time. A lot of people said yes and then I asked if you guys would prefer longer videos up to like an hour or short minute videos like 20 minutes or so and the winners won obviously we will be getting longer videos up to an hour or so and yeah this is my first time playing these games and because it is nostalgia november i decided to forego my assets my model the back screen and just keep it a faceless screen for everybody to enjoy. This is my first time playing, so get some snacks, get some water, get some drinks, drink some water, and we'll start. So I did have the game just enough to the intro so I can make sure that everything was working, and it was. So we're gonna go to a new game. I'm fine with losing my stuff, but I have to ask, why do we look like we are on crack? We, we, we look like we're on drugs. I, it's bad. <laughs> Y'all think the new models are bad? I think these look bad. Like, what, what is our hand doing? Like, what's our finger doing? You know, pinky's out, but it's your pointer finger. And then I have no idea what the neck is doing. It, the sunken eyes. We are definitely on drugs. Yes, I know Hunter already exists. Alrighty. I didn't read the intro, like I said, just enough to make sure that everything was okay. And the water looks a lot nicer than the on an online game. Fall. Summer sheds its skin and the landscape begins to prepare for winter. The trees shift their colors from summer green to fiery red. Warm yellow and sparkling orange. The fields are ripe with crops, the trees are rich with fresh fruit, and the winds are starting to get chilly. In this time of change and opportunity, a girl arrives on the island of Jorvik. All her life she has loved horses. She has dreamed of being around them, caring for them, nurturing them, and feeling the freedom of riding horseback. It is a beautiful dream, but that is all it has ever been. Just a dream. Living in the big city, she has never seen a real horse before. Beneath the sky of the steel skyscrapers, among the cacophony of the cars with their fuming exhaust pipes and loud horns, and the constantly moving tidal wave of the stressed crowds, there has never been room for nature. Until now. During fall break, she has finally convinced her parents to send her away from the city, to finally learn to stand on her own two feet. She is excited but scared at the same time. In a world filled with strangers, she has nothing to hold onto her dream, onto her but her dream. And she prays that that will be enough. That girl is you. Now live your dream. And what a dream it is as a person who's loved horses since I was a child. Let me make sure OBS is recording. Okay, we're good. Alrighty. I have to play on full screen so I can't like... And I don't have dual screens. Welcome to Star Stable. This is your first tutorial. That music is so loud. You're on 12. Why are you so loud? Okay. These tutorials teach you how to play the game. Left click to the mouse on the mouse to move forward in the tutorial. Click on the exclamation point to open the new tutorial. Hunter has always dreamed of the opportunity of owning a horse of her own. Now you can make her dream come true. Ooh, Herman. Oh, hello. Not a thought behind those eyes. Oh, look at, <laughs> look at you. I'm, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Why am I stuck? There we go. Oh, look at, look at, look at that booty. <laughs> I'm not, okay. I'm probably gonna like come off as insensitive or something or say something that might be like offensive. Like these graphics are shitty, but they're not or something like that. Just know it's coming from like a good place. I promise. Like this doesn't look bad. It, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to look, you know, it's very reminiscent of the older graphics of Star Stable. Obviously, this is the origin of Star Stable online, basically. But this is nowhere near as bad as I thought it was going to be. I'm going in completely dark. I know nothing of these games other than them being the origin of Star Stable. And that music is still so loud. Is there like a settings option? Probably not. I didn't see one in the menu. Well, we'll just blow out my eardrums for this. That's- Oh! <laughs> Point 
pointer fingers out, everybody. <laughs> That's a bad posture. Oh my gosh. Uh, at least we have tits. At least there's that. <laughs> Hello, Herman. Hi, Hunter. Welcome to Yorvik Stables. My name is Herman, and I'm the stable manager here at my stable. You can we take pride in turning anyone into an excellent rider, but before we begin for your practice, we must get you fitted with the proper equipment. Go visit Beatrice to borrow a helmet, bo boots, and riding pants. Who do I accept? I do. What is all of this, though? Hold on. Let me... You control Hunter with the keyboard and camera with the mouse. Already got that. Down. Pay it. Uh, people you can talk to are marked with the exclamation point. Move to the cursor over them until it turns into a balloon with an exclamation point. Got that. Uh, you can choose which quest you want to discuss with the person at the end of the dialogue. You will be asked whether you want to accept the quest. Accepting the quest. Quest log refusing leave. Refusing leaves it there by taking another quest. Uh, defend the painting on the person who has offered a yellow character with a quest given. Gray character with a quest that hasn't been completed. And green character with a quest that has conditions met. Uh, completed by selecting the quest selection window, blue character with a repeated quest. Okay, very store stable. In the lower part of the screen, you can see a bar with numerous icons that can, you can click on. Metal, access your trophy cabinet. Oh, okay. Uh, book, access your quest, backpack, and character. Horse, access your ca horse's character sheet, arrows. Uh, your quest log contains information on your current quest. Left click on the quest name in the upper part of the quest log to display detailed information about that quest. The quest names are yellow for quests that are in progress. Okay. Selecting your quest in the quest log displays quest items related to that quest as red dots. Very convenient. Okay. What's this? Well being. Oh, n well being. Is that mine or my horse's? Oh, I'm gonna. I suck at survival games. Exhaustion. Oh, no. Cleanliness, oh buddy. Hunger, oh thirst, oh no. What's your name? Do you have a name? I'm gonna give you a name. Gladys, Gladys, you might die. I'm sorry. Thirst and hunger, you might die. I can barely take care of myself. This is why I own cats. Cats are very self-sufficient. Mm -hmm. Hi there, Hunter. Welcome to, st to the stables. Here's your first set of riding clothes. Enjoy. Oh, goody. I'm going to assume it's basically the same as character? Yep. SP, XP riding. Oh, you can up your own stats. They don't go up automatically. Ooh, I'm gonna fuck that up. <laughs> there you go. What can I price? Price one, uh, buddy. Okay. Okay, Herman. Hi, Hunter. Do you have your riding equipment? Put them on. Come back and show me how. Well, I put them on already. Uh, in your inventory, you keep all your items. If your inventory is full, you still want to add new items. Get rid of items by throwing them in the trash. Left-clicking an item in your inventory makes that item cursor. If the cursor turns purple, then you move over a character, a horse, or item. It means that the item can be used to interact with the character, horse, or area. Left-clicking to interact, it really is that simple. You have four different skills. Jumping, riding... Oh wait, it's probably talking about the horses, aren't they? I thought they were talking about me. Uh, command and caring. Jumping makes you better at clearing obstacles. Riding makes you able to push your horse faster and longer. Command allows you to control your horse better and caring makes you faster and better at cleaning, watering, and feeding your horse. Max for any skill is 10 and minimum zero. You can increase your skills when you increase your level. This is done by completing quests that give you experience. Your currently lo current level is experience as well as experience required for the next level, which is played in the character sheet. In the character sheet, you also equip yourself- Oh my god, this is a lot of reading. Move items from your inventory to the correct position on the character sheet to equip them. You will see the change immediately. That looks better. Very nice. Let me know when you feel ready for your first horseback ride. And what is this? This is a gear shift. Why is there a gear shift? Why is there a Prindle down here? It's important for you to save the game. If you feel tired or need to save the game or for any reason, you're always welcome to take a nap at the house. If you go to sleep, you will wake up the next morning. If you just want to save the game and keep playing, you can do that too. Let me know when you've checked out the house. I'm assuming it's your house. This one over here. I like this older Yorvik stables. It's in Starshine Legacy too. But I do understand why they removed the bigger paddock, because I don't think they have one down here. It looks like a lot of trees, so I don't think they have the paddock that's in online. But it makes sense for them to shrink that paddock for the one that's down here. But I like that it has a paddock up here. It's very nice. Save. 
I need to remember to save. So many games have autosave these days, I'm probably going to forget that I have to manually save. Can I sit on the log? Probably not. Oh, I can't sit on a log. Rude. No oh, well. Uh, can I get rid of these? Probably. Uh, nice. Wasn't it? Don't forget you can come back here for a good night's sleep or just save the game whenever you want. Now let's learn how to take care of your horse. First, you must always make sure that your horse is clean. This makes the horse feel happy and comfortable. A dirty horse performs poorly. In order to clean your horse, you must have the brush. You will notice when the horse is completely clean. You gotta get in. Yeah, I see sparkles. Oh, goody, I've discovered your stairs. Oh, look at you! You're cute! Oh. Finnish horse. As the only horse breed native to Finland, the Finnish horse has the pride of the nation to carry on its back. The Finnish is known for its pulling power, its strength and agility, its hard work being a good friend. A hunted 50? Oh wait, can I buy these? How many horses do I get? What are you? Russian riding horse. Originally named Olaf Ros Rostovchin. I butchered that, my bad. This beautiful and strong horse comes as its name indicates from Russia. A wide variety of bloodlines have been combined to breed it. It's excellent for ha inventing thanks to its good bone structure and long legs. I mean, it looks the same to me. Also, those ones have socks. Or, <laughs> of course they have socks. Leg wraps. That's what they are. That's the name. And you're my starter horse, so... Irish Draft. Uh, its name indicates the Irish Draft for the... Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> It is its name indicates the Irish draft originates from Ireland. It's a cross between heavier and lighter breeds that has created a brave horse with a powerful body and nature of jumping. I the stats looked nicer on the I the Russian dude. So I might try buying that one. I didn't look at the price. If you pick up an item or an object and interact with the curse turns into a hand, click on the left mouse button to pick up when the progress bar is full. Oh, so it's very much star stable, okay. To groom your horse, you use a brush. Left click on the brush in your inventory and turns into a cursor. Then you move the brush to the horse's side. Very st stubble. Oh, there's a bar. There you go. All prettily. Hold on, let me see what the price is for. That is a pole. We are not a pole dancer. This is a kid's game. Your price is two fifty. Oh lord, I'm gonna have to probably work my ass off to get it then. And that's just like the beginning area. What about the horses that are like outside this area? Well done, that looks great. Now that you've shown that you know how to clean your own horse, you can earn extra stable points by cleaning the other horses at the stable too. If you want, check the information board to find out what you can do and let me know when you're done. And don't forget, you need to buy your own brush at the shop so you can clean your horse when you're away from the stable. Where's the shop? Is it, where's the shop? That's the board, I'll look at that in a minute. Where's the shop? Are you the shop? Oh, there's a. Oh. Brush good. Price five. How much muns. Is it on the character sheet? I ain't. Is SP my muns? How. Is it my muns? Oh, to shop, click on the standard so shop here for this will open the shop in order to buy an item. Simply click on the item you want to drag it to your inventory. This will display the price on the item, stable points, and oh. In stable points, answer yes to add the item. Okay, so stable points SP. Can I get paid SP by like taking care of the horses? Maybe. Hold on, let me see. Oh good, it provides me with a brush. Not a single thought behind these eyes. It's- <laughs> Wait, wait, the eyes are- wait! <laughs> it's- it's looking in the wrong direction! <laughs> it's got one eye looking that way and the other one's looking that way! Oh no! This horse can never leave, this horse is not fit for riding, oh my gosh. That- that poor horse. Oh, this one too close together. These are like human faces. Don't horses have their eyes on the side? These are very human. It's a little uncanny. The ears. <laughs> These are so cute. 
Like, the old models always had their charm to them. These are, like, the Gen 1s, I think. Maybe a little little dusty. Hmm. Uh, nice. Their coats are nice and shiny. Here's money we agreed on. Ooh, let me get... Before I forget, I might... I'm, I think I have ADHD. I'm not too sure, though. But I, I know that I, I find a shiny and then I, f I forget whatever it is I'm doing. So it's best to do it before I forget. And then I can learn the mechanic quicker. Oh, no. oh you can just click it. In SSO, you have to click and hold. Oh, fancy dancy. Okay. Um, he's probably going to have me do, like, maybe feeding and watering, too. Hold on, can I? Yeah, there we go. Very reminiscent of Star Stable Online, obviously. So I know most of the core mechanics already hmm. going in as a pro. Okay, Hunter, the next thing you need to pay attention to is whether or not your horse is hungry. A hungry horse is a sad horse, and a sad horse is trouble. Choose the type of horse feed you want, apples, hay, or something else, and see if the horse likes it. If it had, if we have a lot of hay in the stable, so you can start with that. Okie dokie. To feed your horse, you use your horse. To feed your horse, you use food. There you go. I like hay, different kinds of grass, carrots, or other things horses love. Left click on the item in your inventory and turns into a cursor. I'm gonna assume I just drag it onto the face. Oh wait, hold on. I don't know what to do with these yet, so I'm just gonna put them in my inventory, but I should be able to put these in here too, right? There we go. And then I just, num 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 num, there you go. <laughs> the neck. <laughs> Uh, good work. When your horse is well fed, it is happy and performs well. Now that you've shown that you know how to feed your own horse, you can earn extra stable points by feeding the other horses. Oh, cool. Okay. Hmm. Let me, uh, you got thirsty from running. We'll do, so do the horses always make sure that your horse isn't too thirsty. Use this bucket to get the water from the well. Oh. And I just give it the bucket, the, the, the water I have in this bucket. Can I? Can I? Does it work? Am I doing it? Yeah, there we go. Um, thwat your horse. Yeah, just, I just did it, Karen. Excellent. Remember, in the real world, you need to have a bucket of, of your own so you can water your horse. I got it already, Herman. I know. The final task of the day before I let you go is to make sure that the stable is clean. Horses like it when their surroundings are tidy, just like people. Take the shovel and get rid of the manure. All of it. Let me know when you're done. Oh, but Herman... Uh, to muck out. I'm assuming it's exactly the same. There we go. And then I just click and drag. Heh. Oh wait, did I, can I? <laughs> wait, I can actually jump. I know in Starshine Legacy you can. Why am I ascending? That's bad. Bad posture and bad jumping etiquette. Let me turn around. There we go. All tidied. Mm -hmm. Well done. Now the floor looks like you could eat off of it. I'd rather not, even though I wouldn't recommend it. Whenever my stable gets dirty, you're welcome to sweep up if you want to. Earn some extra stable points. Check the no information board. Can I... How... I want to see how much doing everything pays me and if it's worth doing to get a new horse because I'm assuming the horse I have yeah that doesn't look the greatest compared to like the Russian horse I'll see how much I make and if it's worth doing a few times I will can I not use my bucket and brush? Do I have to use the ones that it gives me? No, Herman, why? Let me exploit. It's easier. I think these are noises are the ones that they use in the um, Moreland stables too. They're very familiar. 
I still want to know what the Kindle's for. Oh, wait, okay, so is this like, um, the walk, trot, canter, gallop, fast gallop? And I'll have to keep an eye on it? Okay. Oh, yeah, let me feed your neck there. Oh, wait, did I keep the water? I don't think I did. Oh, I brushed you. No way, it just lowers its neck. <laughs> there you go. And then there's your water. Make sure to drink some water. There you go. Why does it give me... Oh wait, is there going to be some stables that have like five horses? Because it gave me five things of water. But there's only three horses here. Yeah, give me all the goodies. Um, oh, Herman! Herman! Wait. Do I have to wait for another day? Can I go back to the board and do it? Or do I have to like save and sleep? Because I will, because I'm really close to getting that Russian. <gasps> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Can I, is there a limit? Is there not a limit? Can I just abuse the hell out of this and become like super giga rich? I could be the richest bitch in, in Jorvik. Y'all would never know. I'll put the Baroness to shame. I mean, technically, I guess Herman would be the richest bitch in Jorvik because he'd be the one paying me. But, I mean, if I don't give his money back, then he'll never get it back. You know, like Star Stable and Star Coins. Too soon? Oh, Herman, I'm done taking care of the horses. Can I get a. Uh... Holy shit. Yeah, let me get that Russian. Um. Uh... Shit, what was it called? Russian riding horse? That is a pole. Russian riding horse. Yes. My level's not high enough. Okay, well, let me level up and I will have the money to replace my horse. It's okay, Glenda. You were never gonna last. Uh, it's now time for you to get up on horseback. Go over to the horse that you've been cleaning so nicely. It's sure... I'm sure it's ready for you. Hold on, let me take a sip of water. Ooh, okay. If your cursor turns into a saddle when moved over a horse, you can interact with the horse. Okay, so it's just like Starshine Legacy. Left, right, break. A horse will sometimes change its speed without your input. Stay alert. It'd be quick as so it maintains the gait you want. You cannot mount your horse unless you have a prop prop appropriate tire. Regulated helmet is a must. I am so glad Star Stable Online doesn't need you to wear a helmet. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, how fast can we go? Hmm? 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 Assuming spaces jump? Yep. Yeah! We are not even holding the reins. <laughs> <laughs> oh! I'm so sorry. Oh, that, that sound is spooky. It's okay, you can't die. At least I don't think you can. Excellent. Let me know when you're ready for some more advanced riding exercises. So you think you're ready? Excellent. Let's get this exercise started. Pay attention to the instructions and keep the horse in the correct gait. Oh, you mean like lunging but not quite lunging? Oh, that's so slow of a timer. Walk. Cool. Trot. I can do that. Still not holding on to the reins. Cancer. I got it. Walk again. Okay. Slow and steady wins the race. Our feet aren't even in the stirrups. Yellow. Oh, Our feet aren't even in the stir. I see why a star stable has so many issues. Look at that. Lovely. I'm a coming, Herman. Hold on. I ran into him. Good work. You can keep riding the horse as much as you like, but remember that it's a beginner's horse. Once you get better at riding, you can ride more advanced horses. Also, feel free to come back and let me know anytime you're ready to try again. Doing exercises is good for your horse and will make it better, depending on the type of ex exercise. Uh, bef perform really well. It might reward you with a medal of some kind that you can stick in your trophy cabinet to show what accomplishment rider you are. 
Metals? Okay, could you imagine? Oh, wow. Holy. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Damn. I might try to do that. I might try to complete it. Um, to change to the new horse, just visit the stable and click on the one of the horses in the stable. The window will appear in the information of the horse and click on the OK button. I can buy a new horse. You have now increased your level to the first time. You can now choose which skills to increase. Open the character sheet, increase the skills you want. Become more proficient. Hell yeah, let me see here. 40 skill points, damn. Two. I'm not gonna focus on caring right now. Maybe when I get more points, I will add some to it. Do that. There. Okay, now Herman. 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 I'm gonna buy me a new horse. This horse is great and all. Not really. But I'm gonna get me a new horse. And it's getting dark. There is a time? There's a, an online time thing? Yes. Actually, before I do save, I do want to... Does it change automatically? Cool, cool. Um, I want to check out the store. How many points do I have left? That is not what I needed. I need this. I got 80. I should be able to buy some tack, right? This is the beginner's area, so I, it's not like I have the best tack, but I do have some, right? <clears throat> oh, yeah, okay. Price is 30. Riding's 2. Jumping's 2. Price is 10, writing's 1, writing's 2. Hold on to me. I think I'll do this for now. Can I sell these? Can I just get rid of them? They're gonna take up space in my inventory. Probably not getting anything for them, but. Okay. So give me that and get rid of you. Uh, discipline. Yeah, anything with stats on it, I think is good. Command six, hell yeah. Oh no, how much was it? Oh, 150. Oh, well, shit. Okay, let me buy endurance. Ooh. For my horse. And then that's 80. That's. How much is the helmet? 20? Riding. Yeah, sure. There. And get rid of that. Sell that because I don't need it. Don't want it. Um, and then my horses stuff. This is already so cluttered. Oh my gosh. Okay. Get rid of what did I buy? The saddle pad? Get rid of that. And then I just get rid of it because I'm not gonna need it. So I need to buy a saddle and a bridle. That requires me taking care of horses again. Oh, look at me! I can't really tell the color because it's getting so dark. Oh, that's a pole. I'm so sorry. I have four eyes and I still can't see. Hold on. I also need to give you a name. I don't think I can actually name you name you, but I do want to give you a name. Let me sleep on it and I'll come back to you, okay? Can I save on horseback? Cool. I don't know how dark it gets, but I'm going to try and avoid being out and about when it's like getting dark. Okay. Now you look like you got hepatitis. Are you okay? But you look like mm, a Reginald. Yes, you are a Reginald. Your name is Reginald. I want to buy a bridle and a saddle real quick. So. I will get back to you guys after I've taken care of these horses. Oh, no, 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 no,
How much? I should be able to buy some stuff. Oh yeah, 169. Ha. Okay, let's see here. Mm -hmm. uh, command, command. 150. That will use up everything I just used. Um, endurance 5. We'll go with the saddle for now. Yeah, and the bridle. Yeah. Yeah. Take that. Put that on you. And then put that on you. And then get rid of these, because they are useless. Okay. I do want to come back for these shoes later. Because I don't want to take care of these horses again. It's already like half an hour and I haven't even really gone too far yet. Uh, the general riding bronze medal. I might do the medals later. I'm not really too big on them mm. right now. I definitely, well, actually, I do want to try and do a completionist thing if it's just the medals. Um, hi, Hunter. It's always good to see you. I think you've made good progress to show that you're ready for new challenges. I have good friend that I think you should talk to. Her name is Linda. You'll find her by the jumping ring. Oh, Lord. Uh, in the middle of the horseshoe on the upper right hand corner is the screen the map is <laughs> corner of the screen is the map click on the map to enlarge it click on it again to close it you can also click on the plus and minus to zoom in and zoom out on the map you will see dots that represent characters items and checkpoints you can also open close the map by pressing the m yellow dot character with a quest gray dot character with a quest that has not been completed green dot character with a quest in which the conditions are fulfilled Blue dot character with repetitive quests. Orange dot quest items. Red dot quest items related to the quest currently selected. White dots checkpoints. Purple dots safe places. Oh, cool. Oh, what the fuck? Oh no, there's stars. What are these stars? This map looks nothing like the one we have currently. Wait! Okay, is the so if this is Yarlaheim and Yorvik Stables, this would be Epona, right? And then this is um South Huff. So then, Moreland and Fort Pinta. Oh my god, wait. Are we ever going to get this part of the map? Or are we just going to be confined to this part of the map in online? Holy shit. Don't even and then you just have the metal, right? Yeah, okay. Well, I am off to what would technically be considered Pandora... Pan Pandora. Panic Island. I am going to get so lost. If the roads are anything like they are on online, maybe not, but I- Oh, they're definitely not like they are on online. Uh, down here? That's a bush. That's a random bush. Oh no! Oh, your exhaustion is like your stamina. Okay. Oh, well it doesn't go- It doesn't go- I mean, it goes up, so. Can I take care of my horse anywhere, or do I have to be, like, in a designated area? Why does the water look way better than it does online? Makes no sense. Like, the rest of this doesn't look that great, considered, like, compared to online. But the water? A whole other beast. Talk to Linda, my favorite girl. My favorite soul rider. Hello, Linda. Uh, the Great Heights. Mm -hmm. Hey there, yes, I'm Linda. You say Herman sent you. It's nice to meet you. Let me come up with something for you to work on. Oh, wait, let me... You jump by pressing the space. Well, I know, I know that. Mm -hmm. Up and across. If you want to compete in eventing, there are more important elements to practice. One of them is jumping. I suggest that you start with some easy obstacles. When you do real cross-country races, the obstacles will be much less forgiving. Remember, you need to bring your horse to at least a canter and jump and you must clear the obstacle from the right direction. The clock doesn't stop until you cross the finish line after having taken all the obstacles. Good luck and don't forget to let me know when you're done. Oh, I am a pro at this. At least on online. Not high score wise, but like solo wise. How are you? doesn't look like jumping does anything else to my stamina. That's- oh my god. 
who put the hay barrels there? Why? I was looking around at the animations. I needed to be humbled. I can never be cocky. The universe never lets me. Okay, I'm just gonna look straight ahead. I ain't gonna look at the animations or nothing yet. That's very familiar music. It's used in every single race online. This isn't going any faster. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Asshole. I had to say something to get you to move. Up and across. Well done. Please let me know when you're done. You're ready to work some more on perfecting your horse's jumping skills. I'll be here waiting for you. Um, I, I, I need you to find some carrots for me. Horses love carrots, which boost their performance, especially in jumping. Can I take more? If you're going to spend a lot of time in the wild, I think it would be good for you to look up my friend, Mr. Thompson. He's a gamekeeper and knows the woods around here like the back of his hand. He can per per probably teach you a few valuable lessons. Uh, now that you've learned a little about jumping, I think it's important for you to learn about endurance. I have a friend named Lisa who hangs out by the old windmill. Tell her I said hello, and I'm sure she'll give you some tips on endurance. Maybe she'll even show you a trail. Endurance is a class discipline within inventing. It is a tough, long-distance race across rough terrain. It is similar to an ordinary race in that you clear checkpoints indicated by the arrows. Oh, buddy. Carrots, carrots. Oh, they're all over here. Okay, cool. I can barely see those sparkles, but there they are. Oh, they all disappeared. Shit. I was gonna pick up more. Oh, well. Fantastic, just what I need. If you keep your eyes open, I'm sure you'll have more you'll find more everywhere. Always keep some in your saddlebag so you can feed your horse whatever you, it gets hungry. Okay, well there should be more around here, right? Yeah, here we go. If I can pick a few up and then I'll head over to Lisa or whoever's closer. I wonder how low I can get these bars before my horse starts to, like, not function. <laughs> Sorry, I need to turn you around, but that's the easiest way to do it. Every time you have a completed quest where you pick up food for your horse or other people's horses, you will be able to pick up that type of food wherever you, you find it. Remember that it's good to bring food for your horse with you. Okay, but, like, can that be a mechanic in the game? That would be, like, really cool add it to like Farrah's workshop or something or like harvesting. I've already mentioned before that I would love to have like a little farm that we can grow ourselves. It would cut the cost on shillings. Um, pardon? It would, cost the it would cut the cost on shillings when it comes to free to plays having to take care of our horses all the time. We could just grow our own food. Can I get you to full speed? No. Are you already starting to act up? Oh, I can take care of you anyway. Your hunger is okay. -ish. For now. I'm not sure if the carrots work as actual food as well. Oh, it does, hunger 15. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so the bars can't even- like, the bars aren't even halfway down, and then the horse starts to, like, not even want to go to a full speed. Yeah, you're not- why are you- this is the fastest you'll go out here? Shame. I think Thomas is up here? I think? Yeah, and then Lisa should be, like, over- oh, there's the windmill, I see it, okay. What have we here? You say Linda sent you? Well, I do have, know a few things about the woods and how to survive the wild. Let me know when you're ready for the first lesson. 
the most important thing in the world is to be able to rest and save your progress. Look for shelter. Do you know that place where you used to sit by the campfire when you were scouts? You can save your game there and get a good night's sleep. Let me know when you're done. I was a Girl Scout once. I absolutely hated it. I was literally the unpopular girl amongst popular girls. It was not fun. We did get to go laser tag playing. We went, we went to play laser tag once. That was fun, though. Uh, good work. If you see a shelter anywhere in the woods, you can always save your progress there. Good luck. Okay, I'm gonna head this way. Wait. Let me feed you before we go out too farther. Take the carrots. Oh, I guess he did. Okay. Oh. Oh, right. It's for endurance. Or no, strength? Okay. I apologize if that's gonna like bother somebody, but I just I need to make sure I'm going in the right direction. I'm gonna get lost a lot either way. I mean I can see the windmill, but if I get close to the mountain range, it's gonna be on the other side and then I'm gonna lose it. I get lost very easily in real life. Uh, when I was in high school, we we moved while I was still in high school, so this was a new high school for me. And the room where I was in was around a corner from the nurse's office. And I had gotten called in to the nurse's office because they needed to get like my medical records and stuff. And I asked, like this was my first day of school. And I asked where the nurse's office was. And they told me it's just around the corner. Okay. But the door to the nurse's office looked, would you stop that? Looked like every other door to a classroom. And there was no sign to actually let you know it was the nurse's office. So I passed it like a few different times. What is this? Is that a peach? Oh, it's a radish. Okay, well, I don't know I can pick that up yet. But anyway, uh, I passed the nurse's office and I somehow managed to end up on the other side of the school in the vocational wing. I knew it was the vocational wing because I smelt fresh baked cookies. And some a teacher had stopped me and asked where I was going and I said the nurse's office. She told me, you're on the wrong side of the school. I was like, oh, well that's embarrassing. <laughs> well, can you show me the nurse's office? And she did. And then she asked me, what class are you in? And I told her I was in finances. And she looked at me with the most disappointed face. And she asked me what the teacher's name was and I told her yes, that was him. And she said, honey, he's literally right down the corner. And I said, oh, okay, can you show me just to make sure I don't get lost again? And she did, but like you could just tell. She was so disappointed. I'm not an idiot willingly, okay? I just get easily confused and easily lost. It's not my fault, all right? You just can't trust me with anything, <laughs> okay? It's not my fault. I try so hard not to look like a fool, but it, it never works out. Why are that? Why do they not have their like indicated horses? Wait a minute, wait, wait. A star went up. Oh, are these places that I can locate? I've missed one already. Fantastic. Well, I'll find it eventually. Hold on, my horse needs Wawa. Like, really badly. Take the water. There you go. I forget, I can't stand, like, I have to be directly. There you go. Alrighty. Star Stable does it right with more convenience, no lie. Uh, wings of wood. Hi, Hunter. Herman was just here and told... How did he beat me here? And told me about you, so I thought you might be coming. It's nice to meet you. I'll try to teach you what I know about endurance ride riding. Let me know when you're ready. 
I'm never ready for Freddy. In endurance, it's essential to push your horse to the max without exhausting it. Make sure you're at top speed and gaze, but pay close attention to your horse's exhaustion level. At times, it may be wise to slow down a little. I've laid out a trail for you that starts and stops right here at the old windmill. Just follow the signs and get back here before the time runs out. Let me know if you make it. I think you'll see me if I make it. Just saying. Gotta go fast. Gotta let me go fast, though. There we go. Oh, what's going on? That's a log. That's also a log. It's very loggy out here. There's probably shortcuts, but I'm just gonna learn the track first. I'm not getting checkpoints anymore. Why am I not getting checkpoints anymore? Did I already fuck it up? Did I already fuck it up? I feel like I fucked it up. Oh no, am I supposed- oh my god, I already fucked it up. I didn't see the checkpoint. Again, four eyes, not a single one works. <laughs> I can't believe I messed it up that early. Um, fuck's sake, okay. See the checkpoint, I'm locked on target. Okay, there we go. Where's the other? There's not another. Where Where am I going? Oh, oh, go, 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 go. Put it in fucking butt fuck nowhere. Can't even see the damn thing. Oh yeah, that's definitely a shortcut. I can jump over that. And I don't know why my horse isn't going any faster. You're not exhausted. Why are you acting this way? There you go. Absolutely not. Get your fucking ass in gear. Go. Reginald, you little priss. It wasn't even a matter of me not pressing the button, because I'm instinctively still pressing the button. Even after years of us not even having to keep pressing the button, I still do it. Does anybody else do that? I'm probably the only one. I'm probably weird like that. But I still press the button to get my horse to constantly move. So, I know I'm pressing the button. I don't even know if I can do the cheat where you can jump down a hill. I feel like this game would not allow that. Clipboard. Oh, go, go, go. My neighbor's dog's barking at aliens again. Stop running into shit. Only run into shit when I have you run into shit. Otherwise you look like a fool. Well done, Hunter. That was quite a performance. Let me know when you're interested in training your horse even more. I'll be here. Who knows? It might have a few medals for you to earn. We give them out promising young riders that reach new heights. People are probably gonna yell at me in the comments saying I'm leveling up like too many things. Or I need to focus on one thing. I don't know. I'm doing it my way. Um, windmill and birds metal. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. I want. I need you to find some turnips for me. Horses love them and the turnips increase their. Who is calling me? Endurance and lessen their fatigue over a long period of time. I hear you're making progress. Keep up the good work. Herman. How did you get my number? I need to get a special vitamin brew for my horse, so if you could pick up Yorvik berries and clover for me, I would be really grateful. Then visit Camilla Turnstone, the pharmacist in Hillcrest, when you've made them and give them to her. She'll know what to do. 
There's one post down here. There's the radish. Very nice radish. Hello. There you go. Thanks. Keep your eyes open for tur more turn ups and give them very. They can be very useful if you learn how to use them. Try to always have some with your horse. The horses love turnips. So I need to find... It looks like there's one down here. And if I can find a turnip, I'll pick it up along the way. Down here in the pink pin. At least these open up where you leave them. I wish Star Stable would implement that. Oh wait, the pink thing is shelter, okay. Is this what I need? What's this thing? Oh, it's just it's grass. Come on, let me get the orange thing down here and then I'll hit the shelter. And then I think we're closing into the one hour mark. It feels like I haven't even been playing that long. Well, most of it was the tutorial, I guess that's why. Is there something down here? It's orange. I wonder, if I save and rest, does my horse also get rest? Or do I still need to feed it and everything? Eh, 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 come back here. There we go. Oh, there's the shelter. I don't know how dark it gets and I don't I don't want to be out here if it's too dark because then you guys won't be able to really see anything oh I know it's very tiring that tutorial took a lot out of us huh exactly oh that's a trough don't run into that very nice to have these little shelters, though. Go sleep and sleep. Oh, man. The New Hill Crest is up here. At least I can still see it on like, the map. No, none of my stuff did reset. Shit. I only have... I also didn't pick up a radish. I didn't run into one. Alright, I only have one thing of water. Hillcrest, I'm assuming, will have stuff that I can buy and feed my horse. You want a carrot? You want a, you want a juicy carrot? You want a carrot? You want a- no? Reginald, you're gonna starve. Okay, well. Don't eat the carrot then. Yeah, picky fuck. Oh wait, no, that's Lisa. Hillcrest is way higher. It looks like it's on a mountain. Oh yeah, those are mountains. I took a lot of geography classes when I was in Shul. I know what a mountain looks like on a map. I mean, Star Stable Online's map is definitely an improvement from this. Like, there's no roads whatsoever on this map to indicate where you're going so like definitely an improvement <laughs> but it's still cluttered as all hell is it up there is it at the tippy toppy oh No, play that music again. It was nice. I have to I have to be moving for it to play. Oh, that's cute. Oh, is that Hillcrest? I think I saw a, tr uh, a house. That house is floating. That house is floating. Oh, no, there we go. The mountain spawned in. So it's on the tip top of a mountain. Huh. Interesting. 
Because technically, Hillcrest is at like the bottom of the mountain, kind of. Oh, I know. I'm not good at climbing up mountains either. And yet I enjoy hiking. What's wrong with me? Oh, this is like a little church settlement. These houses are very church-like. Oh, there we go. Star got updated. Let me get some water. Oh, there's horses over there. Oh, that means I can get some money and take care of these horses. Hello, madame. <laughs> nice work. It usually takes a while to find them. Now that you've given them to me, I'll prepare the special vitamin brew that will Lisa's horse well again. <laughs> I finished the special vitamin brew for Lisa's horse. It's very healthy stuff, and I recommend that you try some of it for your horse when you can afford it. I look forward to seeing you back here soon. Okay, let me hear. Is that a shop? Actually, you're tuckered out. I'll go. I will run. It's not like I need to lose a pound or anything. Actually, I don't. I don't even know where my organs would be. Are they stacked up like, like pancakes or some shit? Oh, there we go. Food. How much is that? Ten? So is this. For one. For one. That explains everything. And I can't even stack them. Nope. Okay, well. Let me see what else you got here. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Eh. I mean, I still want those other boots. What is what I'm wearing? Two. Okay, so that'd be good. Ooh, that's definitely better. Ooh, these gloves are definitely better. It's fine. I gotta go feed the horse. I'm definitely glad that Star Stable allowed stacking items. There you go. Don't tell me you're not hungry. I know you're hungry. There you go. And brush. And that will do it. There she goes. Yep, I know. I've been recording for an hour. So. I'm gonna go ahead and end this one here. We made it to New Hillcrest. I know most of this was the tutorial, but from here on out, it'll probably be more gameplay, hopefully. But there you go. I'm gonna go ahead and end this one here. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below if you enjoy or enjoy the series. And I shall see you in the next one. Bye. I do need to go save though. Back to that shelter I go before I forget. Oh wait, there's more. There's one right here. Where? Where? Is it up here? No. Where? Where am I supposed to go to save? It's pink. There's pink right below me. I'm right on top of it. Where am I supposed to save? I don't know. I'm gonna go to the one in the woods. I don't know where I'm supposed to be able to save. I didn't see any more sparkles.